Right, welcome. I'm Vern Solberg. Uh, today's tutorial will be focusing on DFM for flexible and rigid flex circuits utilizing surface mount technology. First, we'll look at um, DFM principles for flexible and rigid circuits. Then we'll get into um, focusing on component selection and land pattern development and we'll round everything off with the topic on DFM for SMT assembly processing. In, in regard to principles for DFM, the first order is to establish flex circuit construction types. Then uh, we'll, we will reviews, uh, review the base materials for flexible circuits, as well as protective cover coatings and film variations. Next, we'll study conductor routing and physical physical feature planning, followed by flexible circuit uh, bending and folding guidelines, finishing up with uh, EMI shielding and impedance control. The IPC type one, uh, this is the most common type of flexible circuit consisting of a single conductive layer bonded between two insulating layers. SMT lands when provided are accessible only to one side of the circuit. The single metal flex circuit has proved to be the ideal circuit for dynamic applications. In type two, the type two circuit has two copper conductive layers that utilize a flexible dielectric material as its insulator between each of the copper layers. The base material is furnished with copper foil bonded or deposited onto both sides of the base dielectric uh, interface between the circuit layers is completed using copper plated through holes uh, that extend through the flexible material. The circuit pattern is imaged, chemically etched, and finally insulated on both sides by applying a top or bottom dielectric cover layer or cover coat. In type three, the type three circuit consists of three or more conductive layers stacked and bonded together with thin dielectric adhesive film layers. The plated through vias are formed following lamination to provide the interconnect between the layers. Now type four is, is, is a little more complex. Now we're getting into rigid flex. The rigid flex can consist of a flexible circuit laminated between two or more layers of the, of the epoxy glass circuit sections with plated through holes for interconnect. The configuration provides flexibility in a portion of the circuit while utilizing rigid portions for the balance of the circuit design uh, and for mounting and interconnecting components. When we um, discussion of base material for flex circuits and rigid flex, substrates for rigid uh, flex circuits are typically developed using processes that are similar to conventional board fabrication. Glass reinforced epoxy and non-reinforced uh, base material specifications are detailed in IPC 4101 and 4104, and they include the polyamid film, polyamid with glass fiber and reinforcement, FR4 epoxy with glass fiber and reinforcement, and BT epoxy with glass fiber reinforcement. It's important to research the various products to choose the one best suited for the design. Uh, the attributes that should be concerned are glass transition temperature, decomposition temperature, reinforcement type, dielectric compound, maximum operating temperatures, and moisture absorption. By the way, the BT uh, laminate material is a blend of epoxy and bismalamine, <laughs> bismalamine triazine resins. And it's a very, uh, very uh, stable material. The FR4 material noted uh, in the 4101 uh, slash 126, 29, 30, and 31 are uh, developed for lead-free solder processing, uh, reaching temperatures above 400 and 300, I'm sorry, 240 degrees C. It's important to uh, research the various products to choose the one best meeting the design requirements. Uh, things that we have to consider is moisture absorption, fire retardancy, 
electrical properties, mechanical properties, and thermal properties. Polymid film is probably the most common for flex circuits. It's a, it's a very rugged material, has out, outstanding electrical properties, excellent chemical resistance, thermal stability, capability of continuous operations above 225 degrees C, dimensionally stable at high and low temperature, relatively high moisture absorption rate, uh, able to withstand SMT solder process temperatures, costly but the most versatile for electronic packaging. Now I mentioned this uh, moisture absorption. It's, it, it, Polyamide does absorb moisture more rapidly than the, uh, the epoxy-based materials. However, it also expels them easily. So um, that, that's just something to be concerned with if, uh, for some products. Uh, the operation with moisture might, might affect their, their, uh, uh, their stability. As far as surface protection, after we've um, after we process the flex circuit, you, you, we want to protect the, the conductors on the surface. And there's uh, several materials can be used. The cover leg is a dielectric film, uh, similar to the base material. Uh, there's also a cover coat, which is a liquid polymer that's screen printed onto the, the cured, cured and cured using the UV or heat. Liquid photoemission polymers are also available. They're a photosensitive material that is spray or print uh, or flood coated onto the surface and they go through the development process. And then there's a photo image dry film, which is fusion laminated onto the circuit and photo image to furnish access to the land pattern features. 